Former US government vice presidential candidate, entrepreneur, and best selling author Wayne Allen Root will be speaking at the Financial Policy Council event about the death of the middle class. Financial Policy Council board member Fabrizio Poli travels to Las Vegas to meet with Wayne. Hi, it's Fabrizio Poli here from the Financial Policy Council, and I'm here in Las Vegas with Wayne Root, who's going to be our next speaker at Financial Policy Council in New York in July. Uh, Wayne's got incredible life experience. He's been a vice president a candidate for the US government and is coming out with a really interesting new book about the middle class. Wayne. Hey, Fabrizio, how are you? Not great. Never forget the middle name, Wayne Allen Root, because you know what it spells? War. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And that's where I am. I'm a fighter. And I'm a fighter and a defender and a okay. champion yeah. of the middle class and, I, and, and small business, which is part of the middle class. And I yeah. think. Most people tend to forget uh -huh. that the middle class and the small business creates almost every job in this country. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I saw the stat the other day that since the age of Ronald Reagan, since the early 1980s, uh -huh. 40 million jobs have been created in America, which is what made us the great economic power in the history of the world. 40 million jobs. Uh -huh. You know how many were created by big business? Zero because it's net creation we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So small business created the entire 40 billion. Big business might have created 10 million jobs, but they also offshored or eliminated 10 million for a net of zero. So the entire 40 million is small business. Yet every single day, every single way, every single policy is aimed at helping big business and the richest people in America and the poorest people in America vote for Obama and destroying, wiping out, damaging, choking, annihilating, I don't know how many words I can come up with every day, the middle class, and I don't think it's a mistake. I think it's a purposeful attack. I think the goal is to make us just like Venezuela or Cuba or any other socialist society where you have two classes. The super rich, dependent on government for bribery. You know, They do good things for government. Government does good things, makes them richer. And everybody else is supposed to be poor and dependent on government. That's what my new book, The Murder of Middle Class, is all about. That's what I'll be talking about at the Financial Policy Council event in New York City, July 17th. I can't wait. Okay, so wait, can you give us a little tip, a little taster of yeah. what someone in the middle class can do to get out of the middle class and move up a level? Well, listen, my book is about several things. Number one, it's about uh, gold, precious metals, gold yeah. and silver, yeah. because I think the average person in India knows about it, they buy gold like crazy. Yeah, the average person in China knows about it, they buy gold like crazy. Yeah. The average middle class American has no clue. Yeah. It's like this giant conspiracy or cover up or whatever you want to call it, but the American media, CNBC, Bloomberg, Financial Times, uh, Wall Street Journal, Forbes magazine, none of them ever mention gold. There is no mention in American media of gold, yet in other societies, they all value gold. And it's kind of funny because since the year 1913, when the Fed was founded, yeah. if you had a million dollars in the bank, or I should say a million dollars in your mattress, let's be yeah. fair, no yeah. interest at yeah. all, yeah. just a million in your mattress, yeah. you kept it till today, yeah. the buying power is $20,000 in that million. Wow. It's gone down 98%. Yeah. If you had the same million in gold, today it's worth over $62 million. So how come no one mentions that as the single best investment, better than stocks, better than bonds, better than real estate, better than anything you could ever invest in in this world for the last 101 years, and it's never mentioned? To me, that's the middle class weapon of self-defense. And that is, is the core of what I believe in. Now, there's much more. My book is 450 pages. Yeah. But, but that's just one great weapon of self-defense that every middle class person, every rich person, every business owner needs to know about in this country. Okay, so that's one tip from Wayne. So if you want to hear the rest, you need to come to see us in New York and buy a copy of Wayne's book. What's the name, title of your book? The Murder of the Middle Class. And I'll tell you one other thing that my book yeah. is involved in, and that is teaching the Republican Party how to brand, because if they don't elect someone good who's a salesman, who's charismatic, who's a good communicator, who's a Ronald Reagan, they're never going to get elected. If they don't get elected, America is done. Because the party in place right now, their goal is destroying the middle class. So someone's got to take the bull by the horns and get the right people elected who don't think all of life comes down to government and government spending and government employees and government free health care and government doing everything on this entire planet. It's got to be up to the private sector. We need a good uh, a, a small businessman or woman to run our country. Great. Thank you very much. Man. Thanks, Fabrizio. Okay. See you in New York.